Okay guys, so I just rinsed out all of my cocoa core, not cocoa core, my sphagnum peat moss. And this is my second rinse. And this is why I do it. Because uh, it's pretty brown. Okay guys, so I got everything ready to repot. I got all my sphagnum peat moss ri rinsed out. Um, all my fly traps are unpotted. I have about 80, I would say maybe a little bit more than 80. Um, it's a lot, it was hard, it was a pain in the ass. I have all my typicals, my gold strikes. I, I think these are my DC XLs, I'm pretty sure. Um, I'm gonna put them all back in another pot. I bought this one, but I think it's gonna be too small. So I think I'm gonna jump right to the big boy. So I'm gonna get into it. And I'll catch back up with you later. Whew, damn. Okay guys, that is the final product. It took goddamn nearly all day. I wanted to replant some of my other plants, but I just don't got time. It's a lot of work replanting all these, so I think I had around 80 to 90, like somewhere around 100 plants. I did the same thing I did last year. I put all my typicals around the outside. I got my two DCs in the middle, and I got four gold strikes around them. I tried to leave more room around them so those gold strikes don't get covered up. We're about to get some rain. Probably just leave these outside. Let that soak with some rainwater. And that's a wrap. Trap life.